policy specifically done on the issue of forest management? And is it possible that it's also forest management and climate change? It's both things well, at the I same time. I think something's time. possible. I think a lot of things are possible. But with regard to the uh, forest, when trees fall down after a short period of time, about 18 months, they become very dry. They become really like a matchstick. And they get up, you know, there's no more water pouring through. And they become very, very, uh, they just explode. They can explode. Also, leaves. When you have years of leaves, dried leaves on the ground, it just sets it up. It's really a fuel for a fire. So they have to do something about it. They also have to do cuts. I mean, people don't like to do cuts, but they have to do cuts in between. So if you do have a fire and it gets away, you'll have a 50-yard cut in between. So it won't be able to catch to the other side. They don't do that. Uh, if you go to other countries, you go to Austria, you go to Finland, you go to uh, many different countries, and they don't have fire. I was talking to a head of a major country, and he said, we're a forest nation. We consider ourselves a forest nation. This was in Europe. I said, that's a beautiful term. He said, we have trees that are far more explosive. He meant explosive in terms of fire. But we have trees that are far more explosive than they have in California, and we don't have any problem because we manage our forests. So we have to do that in California too.